All right, Brandon with Davidson Audi. We have Mr. Trotter here. He made the trip from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. All right. He's getting a, I guess what we consider like a stage three audio package. So we're doing the fairings, six and a half in the lids and eights inside the bags, two amplifiers. Gonna try to get him a new lithium. Probably should have thought this one through beforehand, but that's on me. So um, what's your thoughts you're thinking on this? What are you, what are you uh, looking for and hoping for out of this? Hoping just for a little louder sound. Oh, uh, heard this is the man. So I want to come <laughs> to the man and see what he can work, work up for me. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, it's a beautiful uh, dark horse bike, so we're going to get it torn down here in a minute. But first, on his request on something we want to start doing, we're going to do a walk around, show you what's done before. We're going to play it because he has a four speaker power band system. So as you know, that's 100 watts per speaker for 400. We're not doubling that, we're tripling that and what we're going to be doing. So it'll be a good upgrade. So we'll see him in a couple of days and we'll get his reaction of this and have him play it. And then we'll, we'll get him back on the road to Texas. All right, per Mr. Trotter's request, he wanted us to do a little before and after video on this, kind of a little bit of a sound comparison. Again, I want to reiterate, on iPhones and cameras and whatever, it's not going to sound completely the same as it is in person. And sorry, I'm squinting because it's in Florida and it's super bright here. So, current setup, 2021 Indian Challenger Dark Horse, 6.5 power bands in the fairing, 6.5 inch power bands in the audio lids. So that is a total of 100 watts per speaker. This is a 400 watt speaker system. So we're gonna play two songs on here, give you a little bit of uh, how it is, and then we're gonna go pull it into the shop. We might get some time lapse of us disassembling it. Then we'll go over the entire build. We'll play some more tunes for you, and then we'll get Mr. Trotter back here to give us his personal reaction and what he thinks of this system to let y'all know. Is it worth to go with dual amp, six and a halfs, six and a half inch in the lids and eight inch mid base. I'll let him be the deciding factor on that for y'all. Again, OEM six and a half inch power bands there. OEM power band audio lids with the eight inch or six and a half inch power bands inside of them. Nothing else in here. So let's get the first. Mm -hmm. one. Sometimes I be feeling like fuck rap. Cause ain't nobody interested in all this real shit. Real, 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 real. But they be going through my mind on some real shit. Like, why this nigga heavy underrated? That shit got niggas steady contemplating. I'm trying to find. All this shit I've been going through, man. We got Mr. Trotter back here again. He came back down to come pick his bike up. So we'll talk to him. What are your thoughts on the system? Man, we knocked it out the park. Uh, I appreciate Brandon, did a good job. Man, I rec recommend anybody come see him. Great guy. 
appreciate it. That's what we're looking for. We're always looking to not just satisfy, but yeah, satisfy and exceed expectations. So that's what Ex we did here. Expectations exceeded. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we'll get you cleaned yes, up sir. and we'll get him back on the road to Texas.